welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey everyone, I'm back. This is Heather Hope with the Inspired Entrepreneur (laughs) show. How are you doing? Happy, 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 happy Saturday. I kept thinking today was, I kept thinking yesterday was Saturday and the day before was Friday and all that good stuff. How are you doing? (laughs) Did you have a good week? Okay, so um, I was curious. The other day I had mentioned um, to to go look, to go click on the link to my book that's down in the description and check out what, like how much my book weighs. Did anybody do that? I haven't seen any answers yet. It was kind of a, a trick, <laughs> not a trick, but kind of a, <laughs> a cool thing to go check out. Anyway, um, if you're new here, I always say the same thing. Um, I wrote a book. I've been teaching law of attraction. I, you know, in fact, um, I learned about the law of attraction in 2007. I was, um, uh, doing my hypnotherapy training and, um, the school that I was going to in, in Tempe, it's like one of those, you know, holistic type of schools. And, um, I learned about the secret. The secret came out in 2006 and I saw it the next year. And ever since then, I've been like teaching my clients about it. So the last couple of years, I've been doing uh, law of attraction business coaching. And I wrote this book called The Inspired Entrepreneur. And it's 366 days of inspiration based on the law of attraction and business for the business owner, entrepreneur that sort of thing. So this podcast is a daily podcast going day to day, day to day, um, through that book. Today we're on December 12th, 2020. Um, thank you for all of those, all of you who have, uh, purchased the book and have already given me feedback. I love it. Um, I love that people have already, um, had some success with it and the message is coming through um, each day. It's just giving you a message. And, you know, what the coolest thing is, um, source knows what's written on each page. And you may be drawn to opening the book to a random page. And there's your message for what the universe wants you to know. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's jump into um, today's message. If your desires don't feel good to you, then you're not lined up with them. So when you're, if you're, if your desires don't feel good to you, then you're not lined up with them. You know, okay. So I see this, I see this sometimes with people who, um, are discouraged. It's, it, you know, it happens to me too. Like I'm human. I go through all of the human emotions, like all day, every day. And so, you know, it's, it's basically, I'm out of alignment, I'm out of the vortex. And then I start not, not being excited about things, not, you know, I get discouraged when you're not tuned in or tapped in, right? When you're not in alignment, you're not going to feel like things are working out. You're disconnected. That's essentially, right? You're disconnected from, from, um, from source, because if you were connected to source, you would, sorry, I just got distracted by something that came, um, came in. (laughs) So if you're distracted, which I (laughs) distracted as I say that disconnected, I meant if you're disconnected from source, you're not going to feel good about anything for the most part, right? When you're moody, it just means you're disconnected. It's like, it's like, (laughs) it's like being unplugged. Like your toaster's unplugged, your coffee maker's unplugged. It's not going to work. When we're unplugged, we don't work very well. We don't function very well. We get moody. We get irritated. We look at the negative. We do all of that. So anytime that I catch myself in that mood, which is daily, daily, I don't like saying that. I got to stop saying that. But um, it just, it's an indicator 
of go relax, go have fun, chill out, go meditate, go do something else, take your mind off of things and in raise your vibration, right? Once your vibration raises back to where you need to be or where you naturally are supposed to be, right? Then things will look brighter. Things will be more positive. You'll just have a different outlook. Have you noticed that? It's, it's just amazing. Anytime I find myself being snarky or uh, it's, it's like legit, Heather, stop, go do something else. You got to do, you know, you have to go do something, chill out, have fun. I've been watching a lot of comedy shows. Uh, I think I recently mentioned, um, I've been seeing a lot of, um, Gabriel Iglesias, fluffy. (laughs) He is hilarious. So, um, yeah, it takes me back right back into the vortex because I love comedy. I love to laugh. I love jokes. I love all of that. So that's been really helpful. So if your desires don't feel good to you, then you're not lined up with them. And so it, it really makes it where you don't have to like go sit in front of your vision board and line up with it in that way. That's what it seems like on the on the surface of this message of what I might say, but really if you're if you don't feel good, period. If you just don't feel good, if you're moody, right? You're just in a mood in a place like work like work was hard today or you dealt with, you know, people that were annoying or awful or whatever, right? <laughs> Things just it was just one of those days, right? Or one of those moments or one of those hours, whatever it is. A, a few things just happened and you're just like, oh my God, right? All, all you have to do is go do something else. Take your mind off of it. Go take a nap. Go chill. Do you have a hot tub? That sounds really good right now. Um, go meditate. Go, you know, watch something funny on TV. Go chill out. Um, go watch another Netflix special. You know, <laughs> do something to take your mind off of it. And then come back, right? Get back into the vortex and then, then you'll be lined up for the most part, right? If you're in a good place, you're going to have good thoughts. And those good thoughts are going to be about the things that are important to you. So pretty simple message today. So basically, if you're feeling out of sorts, feeling like you're just looking at everything and everything sucks, you're out of the vortex, you're out of alignment. Just go chill out, get your mind. So the most important thing to do um, is to not think of anything that's important. I have that reminder in my mind of like when I'm in a mood (laughs) to, um, to not think of important things in that time. Like that's the time to not get specific. And that's, and that's typically the time that we do get specific, right? That's when we start listing all the things that are pissing us off, right? So if you're in a, if you're moody, snarky, whatever, don't think specifically about anything that is important to you. Go chill the heck out, like for real, go do something or take a nap, do something, right? Take a time out <laughs> and then come back, regroup, be fresh feel better, feel good. Just take good care of yourself, guys, especially now, especially December, right? Especially now, more than any other time in our entire lives right now in December, middle of December, Christmas is coming. Um, The thing in this world, if you're in the U.S., you know, <laughs> that saying, you know, what is that saying? You know, what is that? Oh, I just lost it. You know, if you know, you know, right? If you're a U.S., if you're in the U.S., you know, <laughs> I can't say it anymore. I'm in Arizona currently. Well, I'm going to be here for a while. Who am I kidding? Um, I'm in Arizona. And, I, you know, today's uh, today's article is, oh, we're number one again. We're number one again. Number one again of this crazy thing that's going on this year. Number one. So a few months ago, we were number one in the entire world. Like how effed up is that? I'm trying not to swear on here because I just don't think it's whatever. I swear in my real life all the time. So don't even, right? So, but 
let's just keep it a little classy here, right? Um, but we were number one in the world. The hotbed that was terrible. So anyway, um, so. I uh, I have never stayed home more in my life than right now, and I'm feeling good about it. Um, I do take, like, drives. I just don't go into stores anymore. I'm just, like, really chilling out now. I'm really acclimating to this, to this lifestyle right now. Finally, December, for goodness sakes, right? Um, because I live in Arizona, and Arizona just wants to be normal and pretend that things are really just not happening so anyway so we're number one in the u.s at least right now again no biggie right no biggie um i'm staying positive as much as i possibly can and when i do find myself on that other side of the fence which means i'm looking at the news or i'm listening to people or i'm in stupid facebook groups or <laughs> i was talking some stuff about facebook today with a friend on facebook and then I swear my Facebook app kept closing on me all afternoon. And it never does that. Never. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, universe, I get it. Like, literally, I'm talking smack about something. And it's like, nope, shut down, shut down, shut down. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. It's a, to me, it was just a sign of like, hey, <laughs> that's, how, that's how it's going to be. Anyway, so... When I find myself down that road, and I do this, guys, I do this with politics. I do this. Um, I I have little little rampages in my house that are not beneficial because of what goes on, because of where I live, because you know, kind of the whatever the reality around me. But and then quickly, I'm telling you, within minutes, I'm calming myself back down, regrouping, getting back into my bubble. And then all is well. Like I will have so many hours or even days of feeling bliss because I am not taking in any of that negativity. When I don't take in the negativity, I feel blissed out. When I do, I don't feel blissed out at all. So nice little reminder, turn off the news, turn off anything that is negative right now get yourself back in the vortex. Everything will be okay. Okay, guys, I am going to let you go. Have an amazing rest of your Saturday and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys.